for your reflections on how you think a program like Multimedia Multiculturalism, particularly its internship program, um, and I asked you, each of you to, um, to read and reflect on um, the, the responses from uh, two of Ottawa's interns, um, Eamon Jaffrey and um, Shukri Shekhar. Eamon Jaffrey's here. Is, is, Shruti, is Shruti here? Yeah. I know Eamon's here. Is Shruti here? No? Okay. Um, and I asked you sort of to look at, um, you know, I'd ask them a series of questions about, you know, why they were interested in media and, and uh, what they were interested in getting into. And I I'm, I'm just would like to know sort of your reflections on that and, and also how you think a program like Multimedia Multicultural can really help in terms of, you know, finding the solutions that, you know, you guys were reflecting on. It's the last question of the day. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my internships uh, that, that I took uh, from school for journalism uh, were really fantastic. You know, they put you right into the heart of uh, a big newsroom, uh, either it be uh, television or, or print or radio, uh, and you really get a feel of the daily grind and the great daily hustle and, and, and what it takes and what kind of things are, are spoken about. Um, and, and what kind of what kind of stories uh, are, are formulated? Uh, but this program, it seems, you know, has a specific focus and a specific uh, attention. And, and this is precisely what I believe the solution is, is: is programs like this and getting young people to understand that they have a voice in the issues that uh, that matter to them, matter to a lot of people, and they need to be heard. And uh, and there's power in, in, in one's own voice. Um, and, and whatever medium uh, you choose, uh, I, I believe that this program uh, sort of inspires the, the, the people that are in it, the participants, to uh, really take value in their, in their own work, their own creativity, and their, and their own ideas. So I think this is really fantastic, you know. Um, it's, a, it's a really great way to introduce uh, young people of, of, of various demographics uh, to the world of media with, you know, St still keeping in mind uh, their own sort of essence. I think that's cool. Yeah, it, it sounds like an absolutely phenomenal <coughs> program. Um, I think that one of the things is the networking. Often you hear folks don't know exactly how to get the connections or who to talk to or who can mentor them. So I think an internship program like this puts um, young people in connection with folks that make some decisions um, and, and you know how to navigate some of the channels. Uh, you often hear it's the people you know and, and, and it can be very, very true in whatever field you do. So I think that if um, you know, you're coming from a place where, you, you know, um, going back to what I was saying, that often in some cultures, um, you know, the media is not seen as the greatest path. To, to a very successful career or a money generating career. So often family or friends can't be supportive as to how to make those networks and how to make those connections. So I think a program like this really helps to, to do that. Um, and of course, giving the confidence, um, as Ian was saying, I think to, for young people to realize that they have a voice and what matters to them matters to many, um, that at the core, Whatever ethno culture um, we are from, the values of being a human are at the core of all of us. Being happy, being you know um, successful, um, having a connection, having relationships, human empathy, compassion—that's uh, the core of us. And I think that once we that you start telling those stories and they find others have that same connection, um, it just builds your confidence in 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 and and sharing more of your stories and more of other people's stories. So. Um, sounds pretty fabulous. I totally agree with, uh, with that, with uh, the two opinions. And actually, one of the interns is one of my previous students. It was a human rights class, and uh, she did fantastic in the class. And uh, I remember her very much because she was passionate about what she's doing. And she was doing double major human rights and uh, journalism and communication. And uh, uh, I mean, the program is, is really bridging what I have been teaching in that class to real life. And when I saw the comments, I was so happy and I said, like, this is ultimately what anyone would go for. Someone with a second generation from a different non-Canadian origin, per se, um, 
who had uh, a, a golden opportunity to work in real life media and to um, to also not only for positive aspect but for like not negative but the real life challenges as uh, as the our famous journalist said um, real life challenges and uh, have an, a, a good Canadian experience because this is like the big thing when you work in any media institution you should have a Canadian experience if you are coming from outside Canada but I mean for for, for this generation that should be okay um, so um, I think it's a very good program and um, especially that they are giving voices to lots of different ethno culture minority in our in our community Oh, absolutely. I think that um, any time that uh, youth can get involved and learn uh, is, is is fantastic. And and, and this everyone just pretty much summed up um, summed up what I'm thinking. Um, uh, youth do have a voice. Um, I, perhaps uh, youth are not the decision makers of today, but certainly, I mean, as cheesy as it sounds, you are the decision makers of tomorrow. So t take this opportunity, take every opportunity that you can that comes. Uh, across the table, whether it be from the United Nations of Canada or a different organization, um, embrace the opportunities that you have because uh, networking is a big part of it. You know, to let people know what you're interested, in, let people know what your message is, because there are so many different platforms these days to uh, to be able to express yourself, and definitely don't be shy. Thank you all so much um, as a panel, and um, to be honest, we'd love to thank you. Give them a round of applause.